No. Alright, fine. Guess we'll kill you too. You insist. Just kind of beating me back up there a little bit. Okay, there we go. Hello again, my young adventurers. I see you have the needed component. Well, shall we see if our young man regains his life, or if he'll eventually become someone's fest hall dinner? Ah, he's a dude again. Oh, nope, he's dead. And that, as they say, is that. I fear our young friend did not survive the casting. And I feel a touch weary myself. Such are the ways of magic, unpredictable at the best of times. Do not feel responsible for his death. There was little more we could have done. His body simply couldn't withstand the change once again. A lesson, I suppose, for the rest of us. Take good care to treat bound items with respect. If you will excuse me, I have some work to do. I imagine you have a dungeon to storm somewhere. I wish you intelligence, because luck runs out. What's this I suppose he died. You want it? You've got it. Left the face behind. Okay, so uh, well, that was a thing. Uh, I guess we didn't have to fight that flesh golem in hindsight. Which was good to know for future playthroughs. <laughs> hmm. But we did kill one of those, which is nice. That's that's a big experience bump. Good shape there. Uh, but I think it is lunchtime. I'm gonna have a quick snack. So, <clears throat> uh, we are still adventuring around, getting experience. We're just going to explore these maps and talk to people. Um, some of these people are going to give us quests. They're going to try to kill us. Um, whoa, slow down. I'm trying to play in the grandest of heists here. With all you're tromping about, I can't hear a word I'm thinking. Uh, of course you can't hear a word you're thinking. You have to say it out loud first. Okay, okay, here's the plan. There's a big-time mage living just over their eyes. Magic items scattered all over the place, I'm betting. Trouble is, he's got these two hideous flesh monsters guarding him, and no shadows where I can lurk. Brute force is useless against the monsters. Everything is useless. There must be a way to outwit the witless. Damned if I know how. Ah, uh, hell. I'd be better off just finding a half village somewhere to go pick on. This dive is all yours. Um, it seems I have accidentally altered the course of history by f of future history by stumbling upon the thief for Midian Stark as he was planning, in his words, quote-unquote, the greatest heist of all time. A powerful mage apparently lives, nearly, or apparently lives nearby, guarded by horrid flesh beasts. Stark claimed they were too tough to kill, but that there might be a way to lure them away from the action. His will and concentration broken... Mark has left me here to ponder the situation. <laughs> well, uh, I think maybe we just come back and, and, and punch them really hard uh, when we've got a couple more. That's 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 what pondering the situation led me to. Let's continue exploring the map. There are spiders. Let's punch them. Uh, there's not much more than we can do than punching them at this time. We'll get some uh, pretty awesome stuff here in the future, especially as we get into Baldur's Gate 2 and our characters get a little more leveled up. Um, a lot of these kits are really going to take off. There's a building. It's in the building. Do I really want to send everybody into the building at once? Uh, I'm on it. Send Strongest into the building. Okay. I'm on it. 
with nothing to click on. Bring the rogue in here. I sense a trap. If I'm right. Sure thing. Perhaps. It's not. <laughs> uh, there's a lock though. Right, what's this then? Cool. Didn't die. It's nice. Sorted. Oh wait, one of our weapons broke. The axe. You want it? <clears throat> Our iron weapons that are non-magical, they're just going to keep breaking until um, we we are act two. But fortunately, they're pretty cheap. They're just a few gold pieces each. It just is inconvenient, and they break while you're out here in the wilderness. Turn! Especially since we're fighting a bunch of undead now. <laughs> we're using... Um, Flashing damage. Not ideal. Monkus is running away. Okay. They're... These skeletons are really annoying. They just keep kiting. Oh! Okay. What the heck? Like. They just go after Jeff. They just ignore. Ah, uh, he's dead. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so irritating. Oh, he's so useless. I should have just made a five character party. Like. Oh, uh, well, I guess we're back here. You want it? You've got it. Wow. I've got this. That's actually like kind of a lot of pro. Ugh. Don't worry about me. So weak. These skeletons just keep, like, they all kite back to, like, try to get to him. want to spread out like that and uh, you have to engage them in melee anyway so it can at least solve this kiting which I mean they can they can just sort of kite down don't, uh, don't split correctly Save this time. You want it? You've got it. I've got this. Oh. Okay, so he dies. Yep. 
We are done. Okay. You want Let's go. To I think we ran into that thief just by Don't going this way. Still happen? Hello, Guess pal. so. Alright. That's where we picked up. And then... Yeah. We asked here. Somehow we wound up missing that ghast. Having it come up behind us. Ghasts are pretty scary, actually. Do these require magical weapons? Best fought with ranged weapons and no. They can cause paralysis and disease. Ooh. That's spooky. Let's try to kite it down. Doesn't say anything about needing um needing magical weapons, so that. Try to get it to aggro onto our Dwarven Defender here. Where it's taking damage. Um, what? Not a problem. You very well. Uh, actually, I don't know if we can turn it. I doubt very seriously we can turn it at level three. That's yeah, a level four. There's no way we can. Huh? No, we'll just click a couple of bullets at it. So it's attacking strong. Guess so we're just gonna try to kite it around. Yeah. Play goes towards him. Oh nope. Attacking someone else. Not a problem. Definitely want to kite it down. Oh, it's just dead. Okay. Good. Right, what's this say? Oh, that's good that it never got a melee attack on us. It's pretty slow, so it's not too hard to kite out. Um, but it can per paralyze you or give you disease, which is Somehow we missed that when we killed this spider. Oh, wait, why is... Oh, no, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff just keeps wandering into melee. We gotta get Jeff a ranged weapon on Toad. Just so that he can miss every, everything and stay out of melee. Oh, also, I guess we need an antidote. Some of those didn't. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Back about to where we were. Um, so, let's pop that lock again. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. You want it? You've got it. And then there were some more skeletons up this way. Try not to let walk out. Just having him stand all the way back here. Never being seen by any five person. There's no skeletons here. Alright, alright. You want it? you got five people here and a leech. <laughs> and ha somehow now there's skeletons there? Are you kidding me? What? You want it? Um, I get what? What just happened? All right, I, did they just spawn? Did I somehow miss them? I'm a mate. but uh, yeah, okay. Let's send Bigly in with the uh, Albert. 
Pots playing in with the club. That does do a lot more damage. Yep, yep, yep. Don't worry about me. Okay, um, this is the same situation that got Jeff killed last time, except now Jeff is an even right, danger. Right. Um, why is this? Come on. Um, oh my gosh, they're running right at him. Okay. These two... First, yeah, okay, good. <laughs> They're not going after Jeff, that's what we want. Everybody else can take a hit or two. Okay. I still have the lunch time up. Check that. There is still a pretty large area of this map we have. I need to go all through this east region here in the middle. Also need to do southwest there. South or let's do this east this area east of us first rather. I've got this. Go ahead and pick up um any spring knives. Oh. Free money. Don't worry about me. And we're doing okay on hit points. These skeletons aren't that much of a threat, it's just that they can essentially just one shot or two shot uh yeah. Have range but inconvenient. We're just gonna sweep back and forth, build the whole map, talk to anyone we see. The encounter. We have to strike. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Bruh. Bruh. Can you not? Okay, ow. Uh, bears do hurt. Both running, I guess. Well, it's Agrodon. Tough bear. Not going super smoothly. Okay. Wow. Really badly. What the heck? Really hate that she ran that way. Oh my. I tried to get. I should have given an individual command there. I gave a group command, and the pathing set the face in the wrong direction. Bust to death. So, have to be more careful with your micro. Anyone? Fortunately, we didn't lose very much time here. Pretty much just walked across the map and died. I definitely underestimated that bear. I guess it's tougher than the black bear. Okay. 
Okay, so this is a player character, potentially. If we talk to him, it will start a timed quest line, so I don't... Where the heck is the bear? Not... What about the bear? Oh, uh, anyway. Jeff needs to run away. At least they're not, like, randomly scrambling towards Jeff for no reason. <laughs> there. Uh -huh. okay. We're gonna go after that one. Send this guy over here. Hopefully we can manage to take that out. There we go. Right. Now Jeff will not die. The rest of the combat... It should be pretty smooth here. Just they are constantly diving on the back line. This is there. It misses. Okay. Go. So. Whatever throwing daggers. Come back and talk to Kivan. I guess we don't get to find out how much experience the brown bear gets. Where did whoop up on? Wolves here. They scat. I think they only attack you if you're isolated. Yes, uh, that is probably everything on the high edge. Let's check the map exits. West from here. There. We could probably go north. I've got this. Oh, so let's north map exit. East, of course, just Baragost. South is Nothing to the north. Hmm? Or are spells doing? Got pretty good heals left. Keep adventuring. As you wish. Let's check a map to this. Right, we were going through this map. And we found a chicken. This map does look like it could potentially be red. Which is the place that the wiki said I should go. That is that.
Okay. <clears throat> there is a guest. Let's do the same thing as before. Changed weapon. We want Jeff to do nothing. You want it? You've got it. Stronger can step forward. I'm on it. Speak up. Speak up. But there's a dude just hanging out by the gas. That's kind of sus. Right, what's this then? A bit worried about that. Um, can we kill the gas first? No, stay back, lest this madness be catching. Ah, uh, calm down. What is this madness of which you speak? I have been a rural merchant all my life, and am thereby no stranger to poultry of any shade or color. But there be a fiendish hen to the east that, when I picked her up, spoke to me in a voice most human. Either I am in the chill grips of the deepest fever, that, or that chicken be possessed by a spirit from the very depths of the night and final hell. I guess we know otherwise. Um, okay, but there is a there's a ghast here, buddy. Um, so you have terrible timing uh, to give me a plot hook. It's cool though. Damage. Um, please, can anyone anyone do damage to the ghast? Okay. Uh, we're gonna micro back and lob another round of attacks. Okay, we do some damage. That's good. A little bit more damage. I think it's probably going after Jeff. Yeah. Of course. Okay, whoa, we need a micro back here. There we go. Alright. You want it? You've got it. We got some levels. There we go. Level three. This is huge. We get a, a weapon proficiency for our guys, both of our fighters. Um, 17 more hit points, and it gets easier to hit stuff. All of our saves go up. Um, this is actually a tough choice, whether we want to go towards Axe or Warhammer. Um, we could also go towards two weapon style, which is an option. But I think I was thinking um, single weapon style would be better. Yeah, with, you get AC bonus. Single weapon, no shield. It's pretty good. I was thinking also sword and shield could be an option. That minus four would be substantial with Dwarven Defender. So uh, let's pick between Warhammer and Axe. We'll get another pip up here to um, Master, so we get that extra half attack. Oh, actually, that's at two. We'll get um, plus two to hit and plus one to damage, which is great. But we want to pick carefully here um, because this will be our weapon for the rest of Baldur's Gate One. So I want to look at, on the wiki, Warhammer. I'll check out the different Warhammers and check out the... Or... Hmm. 
Okay, is there maybe a, a list of magical weapons? Oh yeah, there we go. That's not very well sorted. Mm. <laughs> ah, okay. MFAQs has a pretty nice web page for this. Oh yeah, this is much better. Okay, so can confirm. MFAQs has the place you want to go if you're looking for weapons that are available make a decision on how you want to spec out that's definitely okay <clears throat> it looks like there is a plus two warhammer i can actually get fairly soon um and there is a warhammer that really works against giants that it's up to plus four versus giants pretty great that could be worth. Let's check out the axes that are available. Contrast those. So there's more axes. There is a throwing axe. Plus two. Um, wow, that's really good. There is a plus two battle axe. So we can get plus two melee and plus two ranged axe. No, I think the axe, just for having access to a ranged axe uh, that returns, we should go with that and try to push towards Grandmaster. That'll be good. And we'll, we'll want to work towards that throwing axe plus two, which is a candle. That available pretty late. Yeah, it's in chapter six that we could theoretically get this, this axe. And we could get it from Redacted's Lackey. Okay. All right, then. That is uh, good. We'll get that late game. Powerful weapon. Um, let's think about... Uh, we definitely want to go towards this character. Our bow specialist. Uh, she's more off melee. But, uh, definitely capable of doing both. That's the role that she Next, looks like our thief mage will level up. Oh, actually, our scald will level up. That's very good. That'll be a mage. And uh, we're not too far off of that. Good. So our tanks are now quite beefy. That's good. You want it? Much or wolves? Yeah, fair enough. Undo. I'm on it. You want it? You've got it. Okay, there are some skeletons over there. Group up. Position properly.
I'm on it. Fine. Send strong because bigly up there in the melee. Right, what's this then? Oh, I don't know. Just go. Get over here. Don't worry about me. Get a little smacks in. I am relatively certain that there is a necromancer. You want it? You've got it. That would net us a hefty 5,000 gold bounty. In this map or the map next to this one. Are finding some skeletons nearby. There's smoke. There's a necromancer. That's how that saying goes, right? Gibberlings. Okay, what is Roger doing chilling with Gibberlings? It's the second person who has been just hanging out with monsters that are like fairly dangerous. Hopefully we don't get disease here. It's a shame my line of work doesn't allow for leisurely chats, but it's an important job. Must run the message though. Rain or shine or Gibberling. Om um, grows weary of invasion accusations and is demanding restitution from the Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. This will not sit well indeed. Make way. He's a messenger, I guess. Well, thanks for thanks for body blocking some of the gibberlings for me for a sec. That's nice. F. What's doing, bro? Except for Jeff, help. That's good. To be expected. You want it? You've got it. Wolf over. This seems. It's like a sinful. Hey, there's another ghast. And back here. Who shoots Amara? I'm all in. Another round in here. 
Yep, there we go. Okay. I did that guy down. Nice. No diseases. On the necromancer yet if he is on this map. There's some more skeletons. If you hang out back here. Uh, oh no. Okay, there's hobgoblins over there. We have aggroed one of the skeletons. Hopefully that's all. Definitely want to kill this hobgoblin. We want to kill this hobgoblin. Uh, Jeff is in danger. Hopefully he can hide behind this rock. We need to micro these characters away from the skeletons in front of the rocks to break line of sight. Really squish. We need to try to kill off this hot. There we go. Okay, very good. We might be able to kill off this one too. Okay. Now the skeletons are going to come around that side. Continue microing over here. Jeff is doing a fantastic job of hiding. All right, all right. Nice and invisible there. And we're going to pop off. That's it. Whoever is the primary target. Yes, um... Frank the Worthless that's in here up there. Let's also send you up here. And on to many targets. Hacks, okay. Oh, and we'll go up here. Good. That's when doing the smacking. Big damage is coming through. Okay, hopefully that thing hasn't seen Jeff. It's good. It did not see Jeff. <clears throat> Was worried about that? Okay. Once again, Jeff has done a phenomenal job of hiding, and so nobody. If you insist. Ooh, darts, hooray. Jeff can participate. A spell, that's nice. Two spells, very cool. I've got this. Okay. Uh, is there a necromancer? Oh, that might be him character up there. Let's see. Ripping out. Come on, guys. Zombie. That seems about right. Okay. So, uh, let's talk to this zombie.
Oh, don't so the zombie moaned and he just said, Oh, don't hesitate on my account. Some of the others may not have heard them. Zombie bones again. Hold your peace then. Though I remember a time back at Zentil Keep, you would sooner die than be quiet. You would sooner, um... I'll wait till you feel like telling them yourself. I don't remember the old days so well. You there. What is the meaning of this? Who dares interrupt while I speak with my family? I'll have your heads if you hear to harm the... No, it can't be. Is that you, father? It cannot be otherwise. You haven't changed a bit in all these years. Uh... You have mistaken me for someone else, and I think you should come along quietly. No doubt Baragos will have people to properly deal with you. No. Time has made you forget. Just like all the others... But I can remind you, and we'll all be a family again. Hold still. Okay. Um. Gonna have to issue a hard pass on the request for me to hold still. I think, though, something I might be able to do is put him to sleep. Would be convenient. I also would like to kill this zombie very quickly, because... That zombie is actually kind of scary. Let's hit it with a hammer. And hit it with a club. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Run away, Jeff. Right, uh, I wanted him to cast a sleep spell up there. I kind of don't want him to cast a sleep spell up there. Cast. Blade barrier, armor of faith, spiritual hammer, and free action. The blade barrier is pretty scary, but it doesn't last very long. Okay, the zombie's dead. I'm pretty sure blade barrier hurts a lot if it hits me. Um, maybe I do need to put him to sleep. There's so many um, undead here. Why am I not casting this spell? Oh no, I just canceled it. Damn. Um, I guess, can we hit him? He, he, what did he use? He used Blade Barrier and what else? Armor of Face, Spiritual Hammer, and Free Action. Yeah, I mean, I think we can hit him. So why not? Okay. Got some heals. Okay, ow. We did some damage. I think... Our healer needs to be burning. Whoa! 37? Okay. Um, right, the blade barrier. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know if we can do this until we have access to dispel. Uh, we gotta be able to dispel that blade barrier to be able to go anywhere near him. That's just too much damage. Hmm. I don't know where to get Dispel. But if we can come across a Dispel scroll, I think we should be fine. But for now, we're going to chalk that up as a reload. And uh, I guess... I guess not fight the Necromancer yet. Hmm. Okay, well, we know where he is, and if we can get our hands on a Dispel Scroll, we can come back. Want it? You've got it. Uh, yeah, that's not good. Let's see. And then, we got the rest of the map, yeah. I've got this. I guess let's go here. And travel around a bit until we need to go back to... I think this is like the Null Stronghold. Yeah, mate. Or what area this is. Keep low and quiet. Can you smell it? Ogres on the breed. Two, maybe more. You seem pretty good at what you do. You could say that. 
Ain't pretty though. I guess he's letting me know that there are a couple ogres. Let's go take him down. this submerged you have no idea how long it's been deserted um you want it you've got it get over here Mac and the ghoul Paralysis really early into this. You want it? You've got it. Pretty bad. Um, okay, well, we did manage to kill Ghoul there. Uh, but Strongacus is out of the fight. Need to get it aggroed onto the right characters here. And then Stabslot can't be the target here. Really, neither can the face. As long as I well enough with them. Okay, there we go. That hold is gonna last for a while. He's he's pretty paralyzed. Fine. So thanks. I've got this. Yep, several minutes of paralysis. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. He's back now. Um, all right. Don't worry about me. Take these gibberlings on. He's playing. I've got this. I am feeling a little tired. I think I'm gonna lay down, and have a nap. And I will probably play some more of this later. Having some fun, just want to uh, get some rest, so do that. I'll come back with a little more energy. Later. 